and welcome to the Lighten Up Podcast with Lauren Polly, your invitation for living on the lighter side of life. I'm Lauren Polly, and I'm delighted you've chosen to join me for episode 105, When the Going Gets Tough. This episode I would love to preference is really, truly inspired and came about with what I'm going through currently in my own life and living. I've reached a new creative edge. I've also reached a new growing edge. So when that occurs, things get a little bit wonky. They get a little bit heavy. They get a little bit intense. Um, It's those moments where we're really pushing past our comfort zone and reaching into unexplored territory. A lot of times, those times in your life and your living feel delightful and ecstatic and you can perceive the things that are going to be coming down the pike. Sometimes when we're going through these growing edges though, it can feel really tough. So where we kind of expect it to be sunshine and roses and new and shiny and wonderful, we get that initial hit So we choose to go there, whether it's growing a business, changing a relationship, stepping into a new position at work. Um, And then all of a sudden, when we get into that position and into that newness, things start to feel really dense and heavy and just tough going. Um, I recently chose to step into a managerial position at the hospital that I work at. Now, those of you who know, I'm a medical speech therapist. I've been practicing medical speech therapy for, oh, probably about 13, almost 14 years now. i worked at some of the top hospitals in the country, along with writing my award-winning book and doing my life coaching practice. Uh, the speech therapy was kind of like initial inception of a corporate job for me and a professional job. And one that I've always seen value in continuing to foster and to grow in. So as I continued to grow all of my other projects, speech therapy kept going. I kept developing new skills and going deeper with that skill set and beautifully enough, utilize the money to be able to then invest in my business. So it's been a beautiful marrying of the two thus far. Um, I recently got hired to step into a coordinator position. So not only am I seeing patients, now, I'm managing a whole bunch of staff. I'm the go-between between between the staff and the big bosses. I'm learning about corporate policy. I'm learning about insurance. I'm learning about the back end and not only patient care and keeping them happy, but also the number side, which is totally new and different. I also have people pulling on me all day long. (laughs) Now, I'm sure some of you can probably relate to that interesting energy every time you've gone into a new job or a position, that initial burst of lightness of, oh my gosh, I get to grow here. Um, If you're anything like me, and I'm sure you are if you're on this show, you love to explore. You're an adventurer. You're also a trailblazer. You love to go where you haven't gone before. That's what gets you going in the morning. Uh, And that initial lightness and pop can sometimes get really interested once you actually delve into the work of the project. Uh, Like all of my shows, I invite you to look to see how this can apply to where you are in your life and where you may be going through a growing edge like I am and where it may be feeling tough going right now, tougher than you expected, or they're just different energies. They're different skills that you haven't developed yet, and there are more things being asked of you than you've ever had have asked before. What I would love for you to start to look at is what are your reaction patterns to that? And that's something I've been looking at dynamically this last week and a half since I started this job of my initial reaction pattern. Um, I love a challenge and at the same time, I hate a challenge. (laughs) I love it in the fact that it allows me to step up and actually kind of problem solve or dig in a little bit deeper. I've always loved puzzles. Um, I also love improving things, streamlining them, making them better than I found them. Um, It's interesting though to see where that love-hate relationship kind of takes a dive into not 
enjoying the overwhelm that comes or that thing where I don't quite have this figured out quite yet to be able to dive in the way that I desire to. Uh, so first and foremost, I just invite you to look at where you may have this love-hate relationship going on with anything new in your life. Where do you absolutely love it? What are the things that you love about it? Taking time to acknowledge that is huge because that's why you chose it in the first place. You were aware that there was something there, just like I'm aware and I've always been aware that there's something for me in this job. There's an invitation to step up. There are new skill sets being developed. There are different energies being generated. And I also have a deep, deep knowing that whatever I'm learning to be and do and navigate during this higher level job is really going to serve my broader scope for my life with where I know I'm going in the future. But if we don't take time, number one, to stop with the tough gets going and the overwhelm and the, oh my God, maybe I made a bad choice and the, I just want to pull my hair out, we miss out on that initial inception. So what is it that you may be reacting to right now? What was your awareness before you chose it? What lit you up about it? What actually made you lighter and expanded your life, your living, and your future possibilities? Take a second to acknowledge it. Cool. And then now, extending a little bit more past the initial yes point for you, once you got into the nitty gritty, once you started that business and everything started getting going, once you started that relationship and interesting dynamics started to come up, uh, once you got that promotion and then you went, oh wow, this job actually is more than I thought it was, <laughs> what are you reacting to in that moment? What if you actually didn't have to react to it? What if instead you could actually allow yourself to be space? to look at it directly, not run away, not avoid, and also be kind enough to yourself to know that you're going through a growing edge, you're developing new skills, you're harnessing new muscles, and that may take just a little bit of time. If you can actually feel the relaxation in your body in your space, in your living, even as we just touch on that. That's amazing. What this really brings up for me, and I'm guessing a lot of you out, of, out there too, when you do step into something new, there's almost this desire to have it be completed right away or to be perfect right away or for you to succeed exactly as you expect yourself to, or as someone, maybe your boss, maybe your superior, maybe your relationship partner expects you to as well. What if that is the one thing that's really killing this? What if having that initial awareness we talked about where it was a yes for you, it was a yes to growth, yes to change, yes to developing new skills, yes to moving forward and bigger and bigger and bigger, and then when things started to get heavier and the tough gets going, all that overwhelm energy, everything that that is, that starts to come up. What if it's really the expectations that you have of yourself that are so heavy and dense and also extremely unkind? What if you could just take a brief moment, breathe, and become aware of them? Are you expecting yourself to be perfect right away? Are you expecting to start a new business and have clients fall from the sky? Are you expecting a lot out of you in terms of how you're being with your relationship partners? And just take a second and allow all of those expectations to soften. Soften, soften, soften. Be a little bit kinder with yourself. 
And then just become aware of all the expectations that others may have of you. And this is what gets really tricky. And for me, this is what's been popping up way big this, this last week and a half with this new job is the expectations of everybody in the environment. If you're managing staff, they of course have expectations of you. If you report to a boss, oh my goodness, are there expectations of you. If you're branching out on your own into a new business, how much of those expectations are your future customers that you can start to perceive? The people who may be funding money towards you the people who may be supporting your business, but at the same time expecting a lot of you or a timeline on when you may succeed and be able to return their money. Again, just notice as you actually are allowing yourself to be more relaxed, more spacious, and actually be aware and look at those expectations in the eye, so to speak, how there's an immediate relaxation and softening. There really and truly is something to just stopping for a second. Don't spin out. Don't move a million miles an hour. Stop, breathe, and become aware of what you're aware of. This in general, I know again sounds super simple if you notice most of my episodes are. It's because change doesn't come about with getting significant or getting in your head or trying to figure things out. There's something to being lighter which comes through relaxation and also comes through awareness. So one thing that changed this dynamically for me that we've been kind of talking about this whole episode just to lay it out and just to invite you to move forward with it deeper If you actually allow yourself to stop with the overwhelm, take a beat, take a breath, be here, ask yourself, okay, what was that initial inception, that initial lightness, that yes moment for me that had me choose this? Don't lose sight of that. Don't allow that to be colored or taken away from you. Be with it. And then once that overwhelm or that tough gets going or that whatever it is, I'm not good enough, I'm not perfect enough, there's lots of expectations about me, as soon as you start to feel that come up in your world, take a breath, take a beat, relax, and just become aware of what you're aware of. Where are the expectations, the expectations of you, the expectations that other people have of you and that you have of yourself? that are making this harder than it has to be. That's number two. Allow yourself to be aware. Know that they're not real. Expectations are not real at all. Just be in the face of them and relax. And then finally, and above all, what would it take for you to actually know that you are just at a growing edge That tough energy, that oh my goodness, there's a lot going on, that's you stretching yourself past your comfort zone. It's you growing. It's you stretching and moving beyond where you've been before, developing new skills, harnessing new energies, and perhaps lighting a whole new path for yourself and your future. It doesn't have to be hard, but also don't have the expectation that it's going to be all rainbows and sunshine either. Be with what shows up and know that no matter what, you can change anything. If you're willing to be there, be soft, be relaxed, and take it as it comes one step at a time. It has been an interesting path for myself for the last week and a half. I'm happy to impart what I've been working on in my own space with you all and something I continue to harness. Um, Please just give yourself some space. Dive in a little bit deeper to this. It is game changing. If you allow yourself to do this every single time you start to feel overwhelmed or too much or, oh my God, I made a mistake or maybe I just can't grow where I think I should. That's absolutely not true. Listen to this episode again, make use of these tools, and please connect with me. I would love to hear how these episodes, these tools are really changing things in your own space. 
You can email me at lauren at laurenpolly.com. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauren Polly Coaching. Be able to reach out. Let me know if this episode in particular has been changing things for you and what you would like to hear of in the future. Being able to actually give something that is valuable and most importantly is impactful for you and your life and your living is really and truly where I enjoy to play. So please, this is not a one-way street. Reach out to me and let me know how things are going. Have an amazing day and don't forget to lighten up any way that you know is possible and true for you and keep on marching forward. I'll talk to you next week. Mm -hmm.